one of the like uh, summer of high school, I kind of shadowed one of my dad's friends. He was a plastic surgeon and I like enjoyed it so much. I was like, you know, dead sure that I'm going to be an architect uh, like my dad and my mom. Uh, but then after like I got this summer of like kind of shadowing, I said like, this is it. This is what I uh, want to be. I'm Noah Latif. I'm gynecologic oncologist and the surgical director of the living donor uterus transplant at Penn Medicine. I'm a gynecologic oncologist, so we take care of patients with gynecologic cancers, um, and like ovarian cancer, cervical cancer. I do a lot of surgeries with those cancers. I also administer chemotherapy. I have a focus and interest in doing more radical and complex uh, surgeries and do more innovative surgeries. I think most patients come with a lot of anxiety, not knowing what's, what's next, or they know some information, but they have a lot of questions. And our responsibility and my responsibility like as a gynecologic oncologist is first to like absorb that anxiety first and try to understand like where they're coming from. At the same time, uh, can help them through the process and guide them through like essentially what is the problem, like how are we gonna treat this and what is the next step and what is the next two, three steps. So, and this like balance between giving them all the information they need, but not overwhelm them right away because they are already coming with a lot of anxiety from the unknown. The one thing that I like to share with my patient is I focus a lot on their quality of life. So beside doing the best surgery or giving the best treatment, chemotherapy or something else, the goal of the, of the care is not to just to treat the cancer or treat the disease, but also give them the best quality of life they aspire to. I think what differentiates Penn is that there is no silos between fields of medicine. There is a good collaboration between different fields and the idea that you want to innovate and you want to push the science and medicine forward and is very ingrained in the DNA here at Penn. I'm one of the PI, one of the principal investigators for uterus transplant. I'm the living donor director for the uterus transplant program. We all believe and we want to do good in this world, but when you meet the living donor candidates and the actual living donor, they are very unique humans, I would say. Their interest in helping others is above and beyond, and I have to take that responsibility in a way that makes sure that they are well informed about the surgery itself, the complexity of it, how complex, how radical, how extensive the surgery is, but also how their recovery will be. And also at the end of it, like when you see like how the you know, recipient of the donor will meet, it just like, you know, brighten your day of like when you see like that connection and like how you have like you know through this work and through their altruistic like interest in helping others like you have like a new family that like you know uh, started